Hi, my name is uh, John Tomoshiri and I'm a career coach. Today I want us to talk about recareering. So one of the things that I feel is happening currently is that um, most people are feeling they need to recareer. Uh, we're in a season whereby you know things are going back to normal. Uh, people are you know are going like people have gone back to work and you know most people are not uh, working from home um, like as like as much as it was like at the beginning of the pandemic. And um, I feel there are so many people who are wanting to recareer. Uh, there are people who are wanting to recareer because of you know certain things. So the, the first thing it could be that you know after like being uh, at home uh, after working from home and spending so much time with your uh, family and with your children, the people who are feeling like you know they want that to continue, and so they are looking for opportunities that will allow them more time with their family. There are people who you know after working from home and not like having to be in like traffic like for hours and hours they're like you know what like I, I cannot go back to that kind of life anymore i want a change like you know I, like i want to change like things completely um there are people who are uh, like during this time um they have you know re realized that they are passionate about something else something different from what they were uh, like what they were doing and they want to change like to change the trajectory of their career altogether there are people who now they just want to shift from being um employed to being self employed so i feel the pandemic has like um has like has caused uh, people to want to like you know make some changes in their lives and, and one of the areas is, you know, in terms of career. And so there, there, are, there are people who are looking to recareer. So I decided to do, to do this short video on some of the things that you want to think about when you're recareering. And the first thing is you need to take stock about uh, where are you like at the moment. So take stock of, you know, like what has been working um, at you, at your like current uh, role. So like, for example, you are in business operations and you want to move, you know, like to marketing. And maybe you've been at like at this role for the like the past five years. What has been working? What has not been working? What skills have you gained? What work experience have you gained? Um, what are some of the, uh, the things that you want to change? And what are some of the things that you want to see different in your next role? Taking stock of what is currently happening or where you're currently at right now is going to avoid a situation whereby you're jumping from um, the frying pan into the fire. And the second thing is um, you need to research about where it is you know like you want to go. So recareering could uh, recareering could mean that you want to move from like being a HR generalist to like for example like you want to go into now recruitment, like now you want to be a recruitment specialist. So you want to research and you know um, find out um, like the, like a, a recruiter or a talent acquisition specialist, like you know what is, like what it is. Um, um they do like on a day-to-day -day basis and is that something that you want to like be doing and is that something that you'll be passionate about and um you know like research about the organizations that you want to go into like how different are they from where you're currently are and you know take some time and research you know the roles talk to people who are in that position that you want to go into it could be that maybe you, you want to move from um uh from like maybe a role like an administration uh, like uh like maybe a, an executive admin role to like maybe marketing for example so you want to research about this marketing uh position and and, and just uh, find out like you know like what is needed uh like what education is needed what work experience is needed for someone to be successful in a marketing role what are some of the things that they need to have and you and, and doing that research is going to um help you plan your yourself and know like you know i need to do one two three to be able to qualify for a marketing role the other thing is now you'll need to rebrand appropriately so like for example um if you're saying you want to go into marketing and for example you've been doing operations like for the uh, past five years you realize if your cv your LinkedIn profile and your cover letter just reads operations, 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 and you're looking to go into a marketing role, it's going to be difficult for you to uh, prove, um, you know, like why, uh, like how will someone be able to see your, your passion in, in marketing, for example. And part of rebranding would actually require that you start doing things in that area that you want to go into. So if it's marketing, you want to do some, you know, some pro bono uh, marketing uh, things. You want to study marketing, like you want to do a certification in marketing. Because then if I look at your CV and, you know, I'm not seeing any certification, I'm not seeing any volunteering in um, in marketing, I'm not seeing anything related to marketing. And it, all I'm seeing is business operations. You see how I'll find it uh, strange that you want to move into this area that, you know, like there's nothing uh, to show for it. 
just saying that you're passionate about something does not you know does not prove anything like i can say like today i can wake up and say i'm passionate about engineering but until i have something to prove that indeed i am passionate about marketing you know like no one is going to take uh, sorry like, like about engineering like no one is going to take me seriously um and the other thing is you 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 need to start thinking that um you know you, you might need to actually go down to go up. So like, no, for example, if you're, you, you know, you've been in operations and you want to go into marketing, you might not need to take a position that is uh, lower um, and maybe even uh, that pays less for you now to now uh, to be able to now re career. But one of the things I normally um, advise is to try and avoid that you could, sorry, uh, one of the things that you could also try and do is, so if you have, um, like you know many years of experience in operations and and maybe you know like the first thing is you first want to move from that organization that you're in and number two you also want to move like you want to change your career altogether so you could look for a job you know in another organization but then now like related to what you've been doing because then it's easy for you to get an operations position if you that's what you've been doing for the past five years then when you get there uh, in your mind, like have a plan that, you know, like after maybe two years, you'll approach or even like a year, you'll approach uh, like like someone in HR and say, you know, look, um, I'm really passionate about marketing and, uh, you know, I'm looking to shift. Is there a way that uh, like we can like plan something out? I, I, I could actually volunteer and do some, you know, some free gigs in, you know, uh, or, or, or like some free work in marketing. And, you know, like you could assess my work and see whether I'm a good fit. They could even like do a psychometric test, just something or anything then that way you will not um you will not um, have to compromise like on the pay because most probably you'll just move at the same level of like of the pay or higher so that's one of the like the other things that you could try and think about doing that you know you're not looking to start from ground zero you're moving into another organization but then you're making your your interests uh known early and, 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 you know, and even when you're doing like, for example, so you're in a new organization and you're still doing the operations, like, but maybe you could, you know, at this, you're doing operations that maybe you're studying, you're studying marketing and you're, and you're letting the HR know that, you know, like in maybe a year or two years, you don't want to, you know, fully move into marketing. Um, the other thing that is also like really, really important is you want to use your networks because then those are the people who are going to help you recareer. So, you know, like you want to talk to people who know you and, you, you know, because then it could be that they've seen something in you that, um, it, and, you know, they can even tell, like this is like the department where you are, that like, that's not where you're supposed to be. Um, and again, let me just use marketing because it's like the, the, the easiest one like, because I know, uh, of a cousin of mine who moved from you know from HR to marketing and it just it fits her like you know like a hand um like a hand in a glove you know um and um and she just decided you know like she wants to change because even her personality like is just like marketing just fits her personality so well um and you know she was like she did HR for uh, for some time and then now she was able to move uh, like from HR to marketing and she's enjoying it and she's you know she's loving it and she's uh, and and she's thriving in the marketing position um so of course like you also want to 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 really uh, use your network and just tell them that you're you're looking for new opportunities um and then the last thing that I want to talk about is yes so uh, before my time is up um also like do a map so think about where you want to be um, five years from now and also do a plan of where you want to be 10 years from now. And then now start working backwards and ask yourself, so if in five years I want to be, you know, um, like head of strategy and at the moment I am like maybe uh, um, um, in like, like what can we use? Like no, like maybe you are a HR executive. So if in five years I want to be, head of strategy what are some of the things that I, I start like i need to start doing now to be able to move into this um uh, into this direction that i want to be in five years and in 10 years so that is going to help you know what you need to currently be doing now that's all that i had for today i hope this video has been beneficial thank you and see you next time